Balaji, just tell me about yourself. Yes, sir. Yes. Good afternoon, sir. I am Sai Balaji from Karapa. I have completed a Bachelor of Engineering in the Stream of Computer Science from SCS Film University, which is located in Kanchipuram. And I have completed my intermediate in Sitzer Junior College in Tirupati. And I did my schooling in AVSI School, which is located in Madhavaram. And I have good technical skills on Python, MySQL, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And uh, during my graduation, I had an opportunity to work on two projects. One is uh, on demand field delivery, and another one is uh, rainbow prediction using machine learning. And uh, I describe myself as a self, self motivated and uh, quick learner. And uh, my hobbies are playing badminton and listening to music. That's all about me, sir. Good. So, can you explain your role in your project, the project you develop? Yes, sir. I, I worked as a we will do our both teams, sir. Mm -hmm. And uh, I worked as a team lead, and uh, I have done uh, HTML and CSS part in the project. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. And, uh, and also, I collected data from the Kaggle website for the on demand fuel delivery mm -hmm. application. Okay. Why we use HTML and why we use CSS? HTML um, to structure the uh, how, how we want the uh, website. Mm -hmm. And uh, CSS to design the data and the colors we want to add the colors to and the uh, uh, okay. Good, good. Very good. How much you rate yourself in uh, Python out of five? Out of five, I rate myself like a four, sir. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, good. So, what is the use of variables? Variables are used to store the data. Mm -hmm. Without variables, can't do anything. Right? Yes, sir, we can't do anything, sir. Without Why? Sir. We need variables to store the data, right, sir? Okay. With the data only, we have to do the same things to process the data or something, right? Okay, good, good. Yeah. So, what is the use of defensive ladder generally? Defensive ladder. Why, why we use defensive ladder? If you want to, um, if you put the put some condition on some data, if uh, like put some condition on data, sir. We are having if false, right? No, yes, sir. Then, if then we have multiple conditions, then we can use defensive ladder, sir. Okay, only multiple conditions. Yes, sir. We can use multiple conditions, sir. Okay. I mean, if you are having multiple conditions, you are having multiple ifs also, right? If alone also you can use, right? Yes. Sir. Multiple if alone. No, if alone also you use. Sir. Then, then what is the difference between both? If you have two conditions, then we use if else, sir. If you have only two conditions, only if if else you can use, sir. If you are having three conditions, if else, if uh, if any else you can use, sir. You will if else if else if else if else. My question is like my question is clear. Yes. If I am having three conditions, I can use three if alones. Three, yeah. three separate apps I can yeah. use. Uh, yes. But why why you want to use if else if ladder? Why why you want to use it? Yes, you know, if elif, uh, if elif you can use under if elif also right if also right if it will go to the elif condition also. Mm -hmm. It will go elif and it puts bit confused with that. Okay, yes. no worries, no worries, no worries, man. So I want you to find the sum of first hundred prime numbers in yeah. the logic. Yes, first hundred prime numbers. Mm -hmm. Confusion is there. Okay. But you just check here once. Okay. That is not actually. So you are keeping else for the if right. So this condition is wrong. Anyway, leave it. Leave it. So you just um, check whether given number is Fibonacci number or not. Yes. No, my question is clear. I want you to check whether given number is Fibonacci number or not. I am applying all the Fibonacci numbers into some one list there, and I will check if if it is in list, it will it will get something. Then how many numbers you will find? How many after that numbers? Sir. We given that number, sir. Okay. So input work go and after that number we can do the Fibonacci. But sir. in in uh, in for loop you return like this, right? So num plus one means yes, sir. it will iterate. For example, if you give one crore as the number, yes, sir. so how many? Fibonacci numbers will be generated is one crore Fibonacci numbers will be generated into the list. Is that correct? Right. Bit confusing, but you are very clear. I am very happy about that. But you are confusing. Okay. So what is the difference between scripting and function? Uh, sorry, scripting and uh, procedural programming. So you can keep um, some programs in files are in scripting, mm -hmm. and uh, we can multiple people cannot work in the scripting sir. But in the procedural programming, multiple people can work on the same task, sir. Mm -hmm. And the code will be also simplified, sir. It can be divided into multiple parts, sir. Mm -hmm. So that we, it will be clear to understand, sir. Okay, good. 
good, good. So next, what do you mean of generator? Generator is a special function which is used to give keyword to return multiple values, sir. And if you use just to return, once return it will not come back, sir. But if you use the yield function, it will come and uh, again and again, sir. Why? Why? I mean, uh, what is the difference between return and yield? Can you try to return only? Yeah. Return only once return, it will not come back, sir. Mm -hmm. But yield is not like that, sir. It will okay. multiple times it will return values, sir. Okay. Okay. What do you What do you mean as anonymous function? Anonymous function is a lambda function which is to do the small functionalities, which takes n number of inputs and do only one expression, sir. I'm just talking here, I'm going to first year interview you, but you're doing good. But I'm confused. I'm confused, but I'm clear, but it's good. Next interview, I'll cover it. Okay, very good.